Moving on with some of our other headlines, Washington has spent decades building rules instead of infrastructure. That's what President Trump said today while speaking at the Department of Transportation in D.C. President said getting approval to build is currently a long and unnecessary burdensome process, adding that infrastructure in our country is in a total state of disrepair. The president emphasized his cabinet has already taken steps to speed up approvals to build new highways, railways and waterways. The president expected to sign an executive order today to improve the country's infrastructure projects. One America's Eric Solomon has more. President Trump plans to sign an executive order today in an effort to improve America's roads, bridges, railroads and structures. The order aims to streamline the permitting process for major infrastructure projects. Officials believe it could help generate trillions of dollars in economic benefits. It comes as President Trump prepares to unveil his $1 trillion infrastructure plan. The White House recently broke down how part of the proposal's funding would be divided. $100 billion is set aside to let states and local entities prioritize their own infrastructure needs. $25 billion will go towards grants for rural projects, while $15 billion will go towards transformative projects. While it's unclear where the rest of the money will be used, funding is expected to be put towards loans for regionally or nationally significant projects. During a recent speech, the president touted what his plan will do for the country. Not only are we going to repair much of the depleted infrastructure, but we're going to create brand new projects that excite and inspire because that is what a great country does. That is what a great country has to do. America wants to build. Additionally, the administration laid out a skill-based workforce education initiative in hopes of training one million people over the next two years to work on projects. Leading up to the signing of the executive order, the president spent the week laying out the groundwork for his plan. He recently announced plans to privatize the nation's air traffic control and improve America's inland waterway system. On Thursday, the president held a listening session with the country's governors and mayors to get a sense of what's needed in specific states. You're the stewards of the vast majority of our nation's roads and bridges and airports. Yet for too long, Washington has slowed down your projects and driven up your costs and driven them up beyond anything even recognizable. Those days are over. We're going to move quickly. We're going to move very, very intelligently, and we're going to get the job done under budget and ahead of schedule, something the government doesn't hear too much. The president promises his plan will mean big improvements for the country and bring back jobs. And it all begins with the signing of his latest executive order. Eric Solomon, One America News.